Hi there, uh, welcome to the channel. I got something quite different to show you rather than the usual fitness type videos that I normally produce. Um, I bought myself a Fallon Dawn noob tube off eBay, and this is basically a gun stock for uh, HTC Vive, of the HTC Vive handsets, and they help give you a stable platform for games like Pavlov and Onward, and, and any, any game really that has a um, that has any kind of uh, rifle in it or sniper rifle. So I bought this on eBay, um, and it's not really expensive, but it is kind of is expensive for the parts because these are just DIY parts. If you've seen it on eBay, you might have seen his um, his YouTube videos, and you can see it's just made from kind of plumbing parts. So this just arrived today, and this has a pump action on it for um, shotguns. Like for Pavlov, it allows you to then um, not have to remove the controllers from the cups when you're when you're kind of reloading. So that's quite good. So I got this, 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 his kind of the most expensive one. Um, and when I kind of got it, I looked and I thought, well, I can make one of these, and I did. So after having this for about 20 minutes, I went down to screw fix and I bought all the parts. So you can see on this table, these components I bought, and it cost me basically eight pounds. And this was over 40 pounds, uh, including postage. So I, I went down the shop, bought the parts, cut down the uh, pipe, eight pounds. And I have used it, and it is really, really effective. So, I mean, it may look like a bit of junk. Uh, I mean, this one doesn't look so bad, because if there's kind of the groovy little kind of rails on it and stuff like that, but <laughs> um, there's not, there isn't much to it. It's just a bit of plumbing pipe stuck together and with a strap on it. And, um, and I just made one. So I'm going to show you a guide on how I made it really and I'll give you the measurements because it's dead easy because um, if you ever thought about getting a stock for a, a game like you know like Pavlov or Onward and you've seen ones for like £100 uh, or upwards the ones with carbon fibre rods and fancy 3D printed parts and all that sort of stuff um, they all look very nice but I have to say it is, they are quite necessary considering I have tested this and um, it's really really good for £8 for a bit of pipes and something which if it breaks you can replace for a couple of quid bits of it there's nothing to it this replaceable parts you don't have to buy another connecting parts because some of those ones you get and i think they could be quite the, the kind of expensive ones like pro tubes and all those sort of things you can buy extra you can buy the kind of the the kind of connecting parts if you bust them and if you have to buy those and then if you're overseas and pay all the postage and all that sort of stuff it can get quite an expensive thing to keep to keep kind of fixing it if it breaks and this stuff is pretty hard plastic it's pretty strong um so as i'll demonstrate it i'll demonstrate it on how it works i do have my kind of mic here so you may hear some scratching noise i'm afraid so do excuse me if it does if it does happen i'll try and avoid as much as i can but i don't think i can i don't think it's uh, possible so here's our stock and they just fit in there like that and we got a nice stable platform. We pull it out, magazine in, reload, etc. Put it back in, and you're back in the, back in the game. So it's actually really effective um, for something so simple. It does work, and I and I have tried it, like I said, and and it's really good. And I'll demonstrate it a bit later in the second part of the video. Um, but it was really impressive. When I, when I used it, I was thinking, well, I can actually make one of these. I just went down the shop and bought the bar parts to build one, but that had, um, which didn't have this kind of part on it. I wanted one which was just um, a stiff section there. Um, and I thought I'd, I'd tell you about this one because it's not all perfect. Uh, one of the problems is, I'll put these controllers down first. I'll take this off so I don't rub against the mic is you can see the wobble there it's really wobbly it's no it doesn't wobble that way there's that's okay there's a bit of flex there but you have to kind of put some pressure on it and therefore it's not an issue when you're using it but that can throw your aim off a bit so you do have to make sure you kind of push it forward or hold it back when you're using it um, more seriously though was how those are sticking out look at those bolts sticking out the end 
And when it's on you, it rubs against you. It's unavoidable. They, they should have been cut down or using, uh, used like a cap on the end of it or something because that's just really poor. I mean, it, it, would, it could snag and, and uh, break clothing. I mean, that's how bad it is. Uh, so I don't like that. So I'm going to have to, deal, to cut those down and do something on there, put a bit of tape on the ends or something because I think that's pretty poor. Um, other than that, it's absolutely fine. Uh, oh, actually, one thing I will say is, so this is the cheek rest. And um, it is a little bit unnecessary because one thing about it is, let me just avoid the microphone there, is uh, when your cheek's on there, you may not line up with the sights that all the time because of the way the sights are. So, and it's not a real gun, so you don't need to worry about it. So I found it better to actually to remove it. And, and I'll show you the, the other reason why I didn't like it is because... Um, Put that control in there, and if I pull it out, if I go down, pull it out, I keep colliding with it, it hits me every time. I cannot avoid it, no matter what I do, I can do it that way. If I put it down, I suppose, I can do it that way and, and pull it out that way, but I, I can't get it up, as, it, as she said, right? I, it, it, you basically hit it every time. It's so hard not to hit it when, you, when you're releasing it, and although it's not like really sharp, I can feel it rubbing and over time it'll get red and it'll probably start hurting a bit so that's unnecessary you don't need it um, I did buy the part for it for my build but I'm going to show you about it um, one thing that is good about these these basically these pipes is there's a rubber washer inside because these are these are the, these this plumbing parts I'll show you my parts Because these are just like push push fittings, so that so it just uses friction and, and it's watertight, um, and and that really works well with the Vive controller. So you can see I put it in there and it sits in nicely. It just cups in really well. You can see it there. So it's a really nice fit, and then it just holds it on the sides. And uh, look at this, it holds it really well. I mean, you don't want to shake it too much because it will kind of come out because it's just friction, but. It holds in such a nice way that it's, it's, it's perfect, um, and you don't, it doesn't interfere with the grips. It doesn't it doesn't activate the grips. It's just just so fortunate that the vibe controllers and these pipes are perfectly aligned. Um, yeah. So um, the guy, you know, Fallon Dawn, who kind of came up with this and worked and <laughs> built it. Um, is, uh, is a bit of, you know, there is some kind of genius involved in this simplistic design because he's found the right parts. But I'm going to go ahead and make it myself. I'm going to make one from my parts. And uh, I think I said earlier, I think I paid like eight, eight pounds, eight pounds something for these bits. Um, so you get those, and this actually comes in three meter, a three meter length. So I had to cut it down to what I needed. So I couldn't get any shorter, but so I've just got a massive length of pipe just in the, in the other room at the moment. But let's make it quickly. So I'll tell you the lengths of it. So um, they're all 40 centimeter pipes. <clears throat> so if you know what the, so that's 40%, 40 cent, what did I say, 40 centimeters? No, four centimeters, so 40 millimeters diameter. Okay. And so you know what pipes they are. So you, you go to any DIY store and look for 40 millimeter, four, uh, four centimeter pipes. Um, you'll find the parts because there's always either connectors or the pipe, right? So you can't go wrong. Uh, so these are just like these, these kind of T type ones, T connectors. So put that in there. Just put that in there. So did I mention it already? So this is uh, 24 centimeters. You need to get your lengths right because otherwise it's going to not feel right when you're doing it. So yeah, 24 centimeters for that bit. Put it in there. And see, you don't need to glue it because it's just friction fitted. So the next bit goes on like that. Okay, not that bit. I think those, that one's not so great. I'll do this one because I think this one will go on easy. All right, there you go. Yeah. I had the same problem earlier with this one. So I, I, I just didn't use to expect it. Okay, so this bit is 10 centimeters. So I, I, it, it, get the, you need to get the, the, the lengths right because it's 10 centimeters. Is, we want that for a reason. Um, so then the stop goes on last. 
and I'll show you why, because you want that bit of gap, you want a bit more distance, so when it's in your shoulder, it's comfortable, because otherwise, if that was too closed up, it'd be far too close. I mean, potentially, you, you could have a longer one there if you wanted a bit more, depending on the, your, your size, right? So you might want something a bit further out if you've got longer arms. Um, but this is basically, I'm just using the measurements of the Falendorn one, which felt really comfortable to me, so I just thought I'd just use the same measurements. And then finally, this bit which like I said, I don't really like this stock, but I kind of bought the part anyway and I kind of didn't need it because um, it's, uh, it was only a quid something, so it didn't really matter. But I wanted to kind of replicate the design completely. And you can see, I get the controllers back in, into view. Um, and the only thing I'm missing is the strap. And I could use anything lying around. You know, I could use some, I don't know, some power cord or something similar um, to, create a strap because you need you need a strap because otherwise it's just going to fall out your hands because you're not always going to be holding it like this um, but yeah it fits in really nicely I do like it actually because it's just the right amount of um, tension and friction on holding holding them in um, so it's really easy it, it never snags it always feels good and secure so it's really nice it does feel nice when it's there um, and the position is good as well um, I do like it and like I said the only thing I would not have is I would remove that and I will for when I do my demonstration later because I just don't like, I don't think that's needed and uh, yeah that's right yeah so you could add an extra bit of pipe cut from the from the long pipe you have and just make maybe make it a bit higher there if you want a bit more support higher up but I have to say I, I don't think it's, I think this is actually okay um, yeah it's that way um, and it works good for me. It did work good. I was really happy with it. You know, you can really aim. It's, it keeps. Yeah, you, know, you really get onto your targets really quickly, opposed to kind of this kind of wobbly thing of trying to aim and then trying to line up and then keep steady to aim. This this is instant. It felt really proper. And I've used I've used real guns in the past, um, so I kind of have I have a reference point for my from when I was time when I was in the army. So um, I have to say, this is really nice. It does feel really proper and it adds the extra bit of immersion when you're just, any position you're in, it doesn't get in the way either. So um, it, when it drops down and you crouch, it doesn't like poke up or anything like that, it's, it's great. Um, I'm really impressed by it. And for the money, it's, it's something you, if you struggle with those games like um, uh, Pavlov, and I do, I've struggled in Pavlov, I'm just not competitive in it because it's not the, it's not the kind of the reflexes for me, it's the aiming. <laughs> I always struggle to get up there and aim um, quickly enough. Um, I, I'm on the target quick enough, I just don't, I just can't aim it with just the controllers floating around. And um, I haven't tried it in Pavlov, I have tried it in um, Zero Calibre on the range. And I'll show you in a bit in that game, uh, just me playing around with it and different weapons. but. It was really, really good. I was impressed by it. Um, so yeah, if, if you ever kind of think about it, and I've seen people make these things out of like tubes, like um, uh, cardboard tubes and other sort of stuff and weird kind of combinations of bits of wood and all that sort of stuff. This took me a couple of minutes to cut down and, and what, 30 seconds to put together. Uh, there's no need to kind of put together some weird parts around your house. Just pop that onto a DIY shop and uh, you can make one and it's eight pounds and not a hundred pounds <laughs> for those really expensive ones and I think just as effective quite personally but okay then well okay I'm gonna move on to the next bit and I'll see you in a second